What's up everyone? John Rentinger from Techno Buffalo here. I've had the Microsoft service with Windows RT for a few days, not enough time for me to comfortably call it a review, but I do want to share some overview of the operating system, how it works, and what you can expect when you pick up Microsoft Surface, you test a Microsoft Surface, or you just use a Windows 8 device in general. Let's get started. All right, so let's take a look at the Microsoft service. I'm gonna try and keep my editorializing and opinions to a minimum and throw all those giant opinions, and you know I got a lot of them, into the full review in a couple days. But mostly what I wanna show is how the operating system works and how it interacts with the Surface hardware. So we're gonna talk a lot about gestures. This big bezel area serves as a giant role with how you use the device. So let's start with swiping up. You go ahead and swipe up, you get menus, and that really is true without most of the applications. So here in the OS, if I go and swipe up, I get that sort of menu where I can pin to desktop, I can refresh, I can go back. And with really an all application, swiping up is gonna give you that menu. Uh, swiping down, uh, when you're in an application, is gonna close it. Here, when you're in the start screen, it's gonna open up the same applications. Um, but, for example, if we are looking at this and say, hey, I'm done, uh, I could swipe down and close that. Which is kind of an interesting way to close applications. Uh, app switching is pretty cool here as well. You swipe from the left hand side and swipe on in and it'll scroll through all the applications that you have open. Um, but what if you want to multitask? Well you do that same motion but then you go right back to where you started. Go out, come back in, and there you've got all your applications you can see where you want to jump to. So I want to jump back to Internet Explorer, I can do that. If I want to go back to the start menu, I can easily do that as well. And at any point, if you want to go back to the start menu, and that's what this is now, uh, the modern UI is the start menu. You could also hit that capacitive home button right there as well. That's conveniently disguised as a Windows logo. Uh, settings, if you want to get to, and this one for some reason took me a while to figure out when I first started using Windows 8, is swipe from the right-hand side, and there you've got settings. It's also where you want to uh, turn off the screen, for example. There's power, notification settings, and screen brightness uh, will live there as well, and you can adjust that up or down and you get some tile settings that live there as well. So here we are in the browser. Let's talk about Windows Explorer. Uh, it's, take any preconceived notions you have about Windows Explorer, what the internet has led you to believe, throw them out the window. Uh, Cause Windows Explorer is actually really good uh, here on the Microsoft Surface. It's really fluid, uh, pinch to zoom, it's buttery smooth. I like doing that. Woo, coming at you. Good bomber coming at you, let's see. Ah, ah because he likes to yell. Uh, very, very smooth here, uh, and works extremely well. Uh, Microsoft did include Flash uh, here, and you can show you what Flash looks like. I'll go ahead and go to YouTube, for example, and here's my unboxing of the Microsoft Surface, and we'll hit play. Uh, so and then you can, you can hear it. Uh, I will turn the volume down, though. Um, it does get a little jittery, but it's smooth enough to watch. I wouldn't necessarily want to watch a full, full-length movie on it, uh, there definitely are some frames being skipped, but it does work and it is serviceable. Uh, and with the YouTube application you download from the store, you can't log in and manage your videos. You can see it's skipped a little bit right there. Uh, so doing it through the web is really going to be the best way to do it. Uh, so we'll go ahead and go home. And so you know, Flash, of course, will play there, uh, obviously. Uh, let's talk a little bit about... Um, the desktop that you can option here and the uh, applications that come with it. So we'll go ahead and hit desktop and we get what looks like essentially Windows 7. And with Windows RT as opposed to Windows Pro, uh, this is really all you can do in this interface. There's some built-in applications I'll show you in just a minute, but if you want to install older applications that you have on a Windows 7, Vista or XP machine, uh, it's not gonna be able to do that on Windows RT. You can't install Minecraft, uh, Photoshop, or any other Windows applications here. Uh, only what Microsoft has given you, and there aren't that many. If you want to install full applications, then you're gonna to want to either wait for the Pro version of the Surface or pick up uh, a pro version on the market right now. But what Microsoft does give you is pretty decent. So you've got Explorer, that's gonna be like a regular Internet Explorer, it's gonna be different than what we just saw. It looks just like a regular browser. And then you can go ahead and manipulate it any way you want um, with your finger, or if you have the touch cover, you can use it as a mouse and uh, type in the URL that way. And closing applications is the same way, just go ahead and hit the X. But they did give us a full version of Microsoft Office, which is kinda neat, so let me show you what that looks like. You may not have seen uh, what Office 13 looks like. Um, so here's Word 2013. You get all kinds of different templates to choose from. Go and take a look at a blank document. And it looks kind of familiar. There's a lot of new things under the hood here, but speed is really good. So you can input stuff a few ways. You can either just tap the screen. A keyboard, uh, in theory, uh, will show up. There it is. 
show up. Uh, then you can type it that way. We'll go ahead and hide the keyboard. Uh, if you've got a touch cover, for example, though, uh, typing works really quickly and is really one to one as soon as you touch it. Uh, one of the best things about the Surface for me really is the touch cover. I'll talk a little bit about uh, that in the review, but I've absolutely loved it. And I'm gonna, again, I promise I keep my editorializing down. Touch cover though is really awesome. Uh, the mouse and the clicking, uh, everything works very well. Um, so if you're looking to take notes in class, you want something you can carry with you, uh, a very good option. Uh, so there's what Word looks like. I will jump into Excel. I'm not closing any applications, I'm opening them up. Uh, as we go and there is Excel and it looks pretty much like Excel <laughs> like we've seen anywhere else so you're probably saying okay so we multitasks in the modern UI by swiping this way can you still do that and the answer is nope if you swipe back uh, you are going to be brought back to the start screen so I'll go ahead and go back home and here we are back at the modern UI so another cool thing is multitasking this thing does multitasking pretty well so I'm gonna go ahead and find something that's a good demonstration of this let's go ahead and check out the store and I'll give you guys a tour of the store in a minute but let's say I also want to check out Internet Explorer so I'll go ahead and do that so now I'm in Internet Explorer but you know what I realize I want to go back to the store I want to check weather whatever it might be go ahead and drag it halfway you can go ahead and view with any other application that you want there. You can see the video is still playing. I can make it like this just as I would as its own app. If I want to make it bigger, I can make it bigger and I can sort of share the screen. Uh, great if you want to browse the web and check your email on one of the side screens. Uh, it's just a very cool um, way that Microsoft has integrated multitasking. We'll go ahead and go home. Uh, let me go ahead and show you the App Store here as well. Uh, not that populated right now, but certainly we expect that to uh, change. Uh, that's sort of the standard stuff you'd expect. Uh, no dedicated Facebook app as of yet. We do have some of the important ones. Of course, you've got Skype, Hulu, uh, Netflix. You can see it's broken out by categories. Spotlight, some games, Angry Birds Space, Rowey is a Twitter application, how stuff works. Uh, most of the applications that you would use, the core applications, you'll find either them or an equivalence here. Uh, but there are a lot of choices. It's a very pretty UI, uh, as really is everything uh, with Windows 8. It's very pretty. It's very visually appealing. Um, I'm going to again save my opinions for the full review. Look for that later on in the week. Anything you guys want to make sure I cover, uh, be sure to leave your comments down below. I'll hear what you guys think about the Surface with Windows RT. For now, I'm John Renger from Techno in Buffalo. Be sure to check us out for the latest and greatest tech news, and I'll see you guys in the next video.